Ramya, Ramya or uh, Anita spoke to you, right, from HR regarding the interview? Yeah, yeah. So you are comfortable to proceed now? Yeah, okay, we can go ahead. Yeah, uh, first of all, sorry, we are, on Saturday we couldn't do it. There was some problem with the uh, line. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so currently you are in Hyderabad, is it? Yeah, right now in Hyderabad. And working for Sinner Matrix. Sinner Matrix, yeah. Yeah. Okay. In Sinner Matrix, uh, do you work in shifts? Sorry? Do you work in shifts? Yeah, yeah, I'm working with shift basis. It's a 24 by 7 support. So we need to work on safety basis. Okay, what are the, like, is it uh, weekly or is it monthly? How is the shift schedule? It's uh, every two weeks. It will be changed. Okay, and what are the different shifts? Sorry? What are the different shifts? What are the timings? Timings. So, from morning 5.30 yeah. to 2.30 at the time. Otherwise, uh, from 1, o 1 to uh, nearby 11 o'clock, one shift. And uh, night shift is uh, from 9 o'clock to morning 6. Okay. So, so how many uh, DBAs are there in your team? Sorry, how many? How many DBAs are there in your team? In my team. So there are uh, 5 members. Are yeah. there. Okay. So all 5, uh, like you like in one shift how many? 5 is it? Sorry? In one shift all 5 will be there or how many? No, in one shift, they actually have the multiple clients I have. So in that time, uh, we are maintaining and uh, different uh, for Suppose I have, uh, in in my database, we are the three members they are supporting. Three, okay. Yeah, out of the uh, uh, other database, there are uh, two more members are there to support the team. Okay, okay. So in one shift, there will be, along with you, there will be two more uh, DBS working. Yeah, two more DBS are working. Okay, and you're supporting uh, multiple clients, is it? Yeah, multiple clients. Okay, so I just want to understand, like in, say, in a day, in uh, one of your shift, how many issues do you work on? How many issues? Yeah, how many issues or requests do you work on? I didn't get a good point. No, what I'm asking is, in your shift, uh, like how many, do you have tickets or how do you get the, uh, get the... Uh, so issue, we have the tickets, but issue. we are not generating any tickets. I get my mail from the application from developers. Just to be rectify the, which is persons are get. I can, I can go through mail. Okay, so all, uh, all uh, issues you will get by email, is it? By email itself. Okay, and... Uh, uh, these emails, uh, uh, do you do any monthly, monthly, do you prepare any report or anything? Uh, by email? Yeah, monthly we can uh, report to your teams like, uh, we'll be sent what are the uh, completely statics and by this month, we'll be sent that one. Who does that? You do or somebody else? Somebody else will be doing. Okay. Okay, so you said all yes, so uh, all you get by the uh, itself. So, that's, so we are not uh, going through any uh, uh, things like we, when you got the mail, then then only we can go for that one. Okay, so how, uh, you so everything is by email. You said so. How many emails do you get in a day? In a day, minimum I'll be get uh, ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. And what kind of uh, issues? What kind of uh, email uh, what kind of issues do you get in database uh, sometimes uh, the database should be uh, so in any listener is not working in that time uh, uh, sometimes so uh, which is object going to reach max extent there is no space in a segment space or table spaces and sometimes the uh, taking uh, schemas taking exports to the schemas to the users and providing some uh, uh, fla flashback the technology is fla using flashback uh, query by providing some uh, needed uh, time time to in time recovery 
and checking some uh, uh, trace files like looking uh, to tra by execution the plan the statement if any if any how the any query is being executed with the index or not by giving this checking the condition due to the form performance so not for going with completely performance so just checking for the statement how it can be executed by using tk proof or execution plan by application team and uh, okay. any, anyhow any uh, data okay. guard uh, applies are not working in that time you can uh, yeah, just fetch from oracle that's good enough uh, sorry that is good enough yeah. okay, okay. Mm, so you mentioned lot of uh, different issues that you get yeah uh, okay so you know alert alert log right of database yeah yeah how the alert log file so what is the difference in 10g and 11g when it comes to your uh, alert log location uh, in 11g there are all the trace files are uh, depending on the files it will be coming in the one in one directory in diag and in uh, 10g it will be in uh, dump directory some uh, in the different different uh, a dump d dump b dump it will be shown in the different different locations this all come in the single location in 11g In 11G, in 11G, in the, it will be stored in the in particular location, in completing the diag location. Hmm. Okay. Do you have uh, standby databases in your uh, environment? Yeah, I have the standby databases, physical standby database, completely. Okay. Do you? Okay. You don't have logical standby, is it? Logical standby, we don't use. We just uh, by refreshing the database, we can use for the uh, security purpose for uh, physical standby. In at a time, when a time we need to refresh the database, we can go for the snapshot standby. Okay, uh, but the theoretically, do you know what is the difference between uh, physical standby and logical standby? Physical standby, we can apply for the reduced uh, redo, redo apply reduce or we can apply for the through MRP process, and uh, SQL mm -hmm. apply will be in the logical uh, logical standby. So we can we cannot open you can open in the reduced uh, in in the physical standby you can open only read only in the logical standby you can write it uh, open also in a read write. Okay. And what is the RSS? What does the RSS process do in your uh, standby database? In remote file server, it will be up, uh, getting the reduce from the uh, primary database. RQ log files. Everything will be received from the primary database which are coming from primary. Okay, and have you uh, in your uh, in your, uh, your you have total three years experience, is it? Sorry. How many years experience as DBA you have? Yeah, have completed three plus. Okay, three three plus means three three years and how many months? So it's an year by three point eight three point. Uh, 3.8 almost all. I have the 3.2 is the real time experience. I have the first six months I get training from there. So totally have complete 3.8. So, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I have the real, relevant experience as 3.2. Okay. So in this three years uh, experience, okay. have you come across any situation? Have you come across any situation? Have you come across any situation in your standby database? Okay. Where you will have to rebuild rebuild your standby database. Uh, maximum it's not came. So because of the support team is there, we did not get here like this issue. Okay. Okay. So theoretically, can you tell me, uh, like in case there is a very huge uh, archive gap. Okay. Okay. So there is a way to uh, rebuild your database using incremental backup. Yeah. Are you aware of it? So I am aware of uh, like I have the little bit, not the. Uh, in that time, we can just uh, you have the two server, two clients is there that the uh, file server and file client. In the standby database, file client will fetch the RQ gap and send the request to the file server and uh, get the information which is the files are missing. At the time of uh, any missing the gaps, we can go for through st snapshot standby control file. And we can, uh, which is the last uh, log, uh, log is applied. We can go for that one and uh, can uh, get the backup through incremental or uh, which is the backup piece or archive log pieces. Send to the standby database and restore the database through our man.
Okay. Okay. Uh, after this is uh, Shaina. We both were uh, there on that day. Hope you remember me. How are you? Yeah, fine. Are you? Am I audible to you first? Sorry. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah, I am able to hear. You. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Stand by. Let's say uh, you get an issue that uh, you have added a data file to your primary database. Okay, and it is not uh, happened. It's not replicated to your standby. So, what is the thing you will look for? So I didn't get exactly. If I have any data file, data file is not okay. updated in the standby. No, no. In primary, okay, you have data space filled hundred percent. Okay. So what you will do in production? You will add a data file. You will add a space. Means you will add a data file, right? Yeah. So this data file should be there in prime standby also. Yeah, if there is a one parameter there, standby file management. If you set that parameter as auto, if you created any data mm -hmm. data file or table space in uh, primary, it automatically uh, created on standby database. Okay. Okay. So that is what only. So you know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know why uh, do we use uh, DB file name convert and log file name convert? Yeah, we have converted sometimes in the cloning time by giving the one of the parameter DB file name convert and log file name convert. If you provide the one location to another location, automatically they will be at the time of cloning or we can restore the data from one location to another location. It will be changed the names. Okay. Okay. So that is fine on standby. Uh, you have uh, done cloning. Sorry. Cloning you have done. Yeah, I have done cloning. So manual or uh, the arm and cloning. cloning. We are using only arm and cloning. Can you just uh, tell us the high level steps, not the entire thing? Elaborated manner, just a high level step, few steps, which is, you know, uh, which you can uh, say that is needed for the cloning. I need to know the approach. Sorry, I didn't get can you, you tell me? Exactly. Yeah. I didn't get you exactly what you're asking. I, uh, your voice is uh, just uh, it is uh, coming re revised. Uh, sorry, I didn't get you exactly the point. It's a, we just need to know the steps of uh, cloning, high level steps. High level steps. Yeah, first yeah. Uh, we can go for the database, which is uh, you need to uh, set some uh, parameters, locations, and uh, the check the listener availability first, and then we need to create one more instance. First, we need to create one of the SP files. Through based on the which is uh, taking the cloning uh, from primary or production database. In that time, we can create one of the SP file and then create a control file, and then we can uh, take a backup from the through hard backup. And uh, you can set some uh, DB file name convert, log file name convert, and uh, set the your database running with RQ log mode or not. We need to check these all the conditions mm -hmm. and then uh, start the uh, check the listener and create one of the TNS file which is. Uh, uh, re, uh, we need to go for clone DBA. We need to create one more uh, uh, TNS, and then uh, we can uh, take the backups and uh, send to the SP file and control file to the location and uh, re export that uh, which you need to go for the clone DBA, and then restore the from through RMAN based on the uh, created control file. So what command do you use to uh, duplicate target database to target. new database? You can give the command duplicate target okay. database to new name. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is fine. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Any uh, experience do you have in uh, patching? Sorry, in? Patching the database. Patching. Yeah. No, patching we didn't done. 
you have not done the batching yeah i'm not done batching so actually we can uh, go okay. for the, some okay. script with uh, know, yeah do you know theoretically about the batching yeah batching will be uh, do some uh, about any have any bugs in your database you can just uh, rectify that bugs by doing the patching so what what kind of patches available uh, in oracle uh, there are not exactly sure i didn't uh, have some idea but i just get remember now okay do you have have you heard of uh, cpu and uh, psu patches cpu psu patches yeah uh, not sure i have some remember at the time of checking just database is completely based on the performance training so we can just check for the by using top command or uptime command when it is loaded when it is stated and to if you have the for housekeeping purpose we can just check the okay some directories is full or 80 percent is full we need to do delete some trace files or unused files okay okay so you have not uh, done much uh, on patching part is it no i'm right. not done yeah i'm not okay no problem Okay, you have worked on 10G and 11G both, right? Yeah, 10G and 11G, but uh, we use uh, bo- bo- very less for 10G. We are using from the 11G itself. Okay. Can you tell me a uh, couple of processes which is being introduced in 11G is not available in 10G? Uh, in 10G and 11G. So. Yeah. Um, some options will be there like uh, diag is not there in 10g it is in user in uh, 11g some process also uh, by some background almost all 56 background processes are introduced in 11g some uh, background process uh, i know some process uh, memory manager uh, ram resourceable manager and diag uh, and database resource manager event monitor like uh, and it is also more uh, even it can use it for t- uh, uh, yeah, 11g snap star standby is also created by in 11g itself which is standby sorry uh, you just said uh, 11g standby created what is that yeah, i didn't standby, standby da- uh, snap star standby yeah. database was created in 11g is not in present in uh, 10g okay and even uh, to upgrade the database right. application while users remain online it can in 11g okay so okay in, uh, so if we talk about uh, the architecture okay can you tell me what is the sga consist of sga consist of uh, library cache dictionary cache and redo log buffer cache database buffer cache and java pool large pool these are uh, and uh, background process some uh, pmon smon this uh, this process will be stored in the sda it will be contained in the entire part when uh, user uh, connects to a database okay. there is two process gets created right user process and the server process sorry uh, user process and server process what is the user process and server process so user process will be the pmon process it will be based on the through listener okay the some server process will be contain the completely data with uh, sda and instance and database where it will get created the server process the server process which portion of the memory okay Server process would be created. Not sure. I have. Server process would okay. be in the database itself, no? So it would... will be the database itself. Yeah, of it course, will it will be there. Yeah. Where it can be made? It will be, of course, it will in be there. In SDA database. itself, but it can be. Yeah. Whenever. In database, yeah. you have a different place allocated for. Everything, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah, I know. 
find the max session right yeah in the network so let's say you have to find the max session should be 300 okay. so the 301 one connection comes to your database it will be shut out it will not be able to connect unless you clear the old session some old session which is already connected right yeah. so there is a place where the server process get created okay. you know about pga yeah, what is the pga yeah, yeah what happens in pga yes uh, pga is a program global area it is a yeah, yeah what is the happens in program global area yeah yeah pga is nothing but it's a dedicated server is a dedicated server destination it is and said server can be stored for the listeners and dispatchers it's a dedicated server yeah pga is the location for the dedicated server you know okay are you sure about it so not sure but i know from okay uh, no problem can you tell me what is scn because uh, you will be uh, you will have to understand scn when it comes to uh, the physical standby rebuild right yeah, yeah. you will get the scn yeah. number uh, based on that you will get the incremental backup yeah. and then you will apply right so what exactly the scn and when it gets generated and what is the significance of it in the database so scn is just a system change number if you can uh, if you want to uh, restore the database at the time of mentioning an scn number it can be stored in the control file so every time uh, when you apply the checkpoint or a log monitor it automatically it will be generated with a new scn number so what are the times when uh, like uh, system change number generates like get the message yeah there are certain cases okay. when scn gets generated right certain cases the scn will be generated certain cases means let's say you said that uh, when there is any transaction yeah. happens yeah transaction so happens checkpoint happens then it will generate a system change number right yeah so similarly like this point what other things happens in the database which in which instance scn gets generated SCN will be generated in the production database only. At the time of, uh, in uh, if you have applied any transactions or log writer or checkpoint, at the time of uh, create any data file, and uh, the read consistent also okay. use SCN. Sometimes. Okay. One more thing, just uh, can you tell me about the shared pool? What exactly the shared pool? Uh, shared pool we have in memory what is the like what is the use of shared pool in memory hello yeah yeah just... we are there right we're not disconnected yeah, i didn't get you okay just uh, you tell me what is the shared pool that's it uh said uh, will be contained with uh, it is said bull will be gener- uh, first it can be uh, read the execute the statement and it's a library catch ratio and the dictionary catch ratio will be belong to the said bull itself okay and uh, so if any query is executed by the sql it will be Uh, read by this uh, said pool only you take care of the performance uh, issues sometimes right yeah sometimes i am issue that means just you can generate the execution plan if any of the user is uh, pen what so exactly you look in the execution plan so will be like uh, how much uh, of uh, rows it can be estimated what is the cost of the cpu or the uh, if uh, query is being executed you mean by cost sorry what do you mean by the cost the cost is uh, every command will be charged from some cost of the cpu uh, percentage it will be take so it means like the optimizer mode you are talking about is it yeah so what uh, what is an optimizer mode uh, here in database optimizer use the 
to execute the statement so actual optimizer have the two modes of parameters like uh, so for to execute the statement how how can we execute a sql statement is the optimizer function and it is the rule based and cost based okay so when you execute one statement let's say i have executed select star from uh, v dollar database right okay what happens actually oh, so if it is uh, while getting this command uh, if uh, your sql trace is uh, it is true will be read the statement completely the entire data based on some uh, how much it can be estimated if uh, apply that uh, session should be three values you need to set uh, auto trace uh, trace on or trace of uh, sorry, trace on trace only if you get only trace only you cannot get any data it will be read the only how much cost it will be taken how much rows it will be estimated this can be shown in the uh, no no set. what i'm saying okay. just you just need to tell me what happens when you execute a statement what how do you, do you get the output of any statement okay. how it goes to the database what all crosses it does where like where it gets sorted out let's say you it does some sorting also right it does it create the execution plan yeah. and it checks the data there in the buffer or it goes to uh, it does the parsing actually right so i just want to know this in steps do you know that I got it. Suppose uh, if you call any uh, for, like select star from the, the some table we have provided in that view, it will be go for such and it is in uh, check the condition. First, it can be pass the statement through stream uh, saved pool. So it will be check on the library cache the statement is right or not. If you go for the dictionary cache, the metadata of the data table which is the view will be there. The metadata will provide in the dictionary cache is present or not by using the system data file. So then it will go for the database buffer cache. There is the pre-image of data will be there. If you search from there, otherwise it will be go for the data files where it is uh, located in the data file. It will it will be read from the statement. Pre-image of the data means what? Like it is uh, sub. Uh, it is in a database buffer cache. There is pinned buffer and uh, pre-buffer and dirty buffer will be there. So which is already recently used. Recently used uh, views are there in a pinned buffer. So you are talking will... about LRU uh, in. Uh... MRU and uh, LRU is it? Yeah. Least recently used. Okay. 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 I got it. Okay. Fine. Uh, other than that, uh, backup uh, pickup have you done? Anything? Yeah, I have done some backups. Okay. Generally, what backups do you do? Full backup or incremental backup? Uh, sometimes we can go for full backup. Sometimes we can go for uh, daily. You can go for the incremental backups through Arman. Okay. And uh, so, uh, yeah. What is an incremental backup? Difference between full and incremental backup. Tell me. Incremental backup is nothing but it will be take the backup from the last backup. Okay. Cool. Uh, is uh, what happens if you enable the blockchain tracking in the database? It will be updated. How it behaves incremental backup if you enable that uh, parameter? It will be just to uh, update the blocks which is uh, uh, last updated. From that, it can be update the blocks. It will update. Yeah. Which will update? I'm just asking that uh, if you take the incremental backup and your blockchain tracking is enabled. So, okay. what your incremental does at that time? How does it behave and what it does? If you enable change tracking process, started and uh, starts writing to created file, which is. Uh, if you uh, writing to the which is, we can create one of the uh, location into the uh, change tracking file. It will be start writing to that uh, that created file. What are the changes they have done okay. for the last backup? Okay, little slight uh, different. Uh, <clears throat> normally, backup incremental backup takes uh, first. It will check if there is any uh, parameter of like uh, enabled in the database or not. 
Okay, if blockchain tracking is enabled, it will look for the data file which is keeping, which is maintaining the changes happening in the database. Okay. Right, so it will back up only that changes to the intermediate backup. So it is very fast and it will not impact the database as well, the performance wise as well. Okay. Right, that is what I mean. Yeah, okay. got it? I got it. Yeah, I got it. Cool. Good. Okay. Uh, quickly, I'll just uh, move on to Armen. You said that uh, you have done the backup using Armen. So, what do you mean by the obsolete and the expired backup? Obsolete means it will be uh, restore the data from the inconsistent backup. Expired means which is the files is going to already expired. How does it get expired? So, maybe if there is no files are there, physically it no. will be not, uh, it will be not present. Okay, so, how why it will not present? Sorry? Okay, what I'm saying, your backup is happening every day and files are there. Okay. So, why it will show the expired backup? Expired backup. That means if you take that backup, have some uh, date of time which is already reached based on the SCN number. So, we can have the one more ba backup. Please. Actually, absolute we can use for expired backup. We didn't touch that one. Exactly. I'm okay. Not sure. No problem. <clears throat> yeah. Let me let me tell you. Okay. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, the expired backup is you just have to understand in this way. Okay. Anything. Okay. They are written expired means that there is certain date mentioned okay. for expiry, right? Let's say you take the medicine from the market. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So. Once that date passed, so that medicine becomes expired. Yep. So that means there is some parameter configured in the database to retain the backup. Okay. So if you are putting the retention of the backup is three days, so over three days backup will be shown as an expired backup. Okay, okay. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear. I'm already got the point, but uh, is sure or not? I didn't mention that. So if you mention the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, which is the parameter that you need to set the uh, this is some time retention. I yeah, you uh, put the uh, when you do the show all, you can uh, alter the uh, you know retention, backup retention policy. Yeah, <coughs> there is a backup retention policy. You can set seven days, eight days, and over eight days backup will show expired. Okay, can you tell me the obsolete backup? Yeah, then what is an obsolete if this? Is Absolute backup is uh, completely is inconsistent backup, and uh, it is uh, suppose we are taking the hot backups or the backup piece is still available, but it is no longer needed. Uh, it depend upon the some uh, like it is also some. Okay. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it means uh, the backup piece is still available. AS it is only backup piece, no? It is still available, that is absolute Sorry? backup. If it is still available, that is called as uh, absolute backup. It is inconsistent backup, like hot backup. Oh, it's still available. Yeah, it's still available, okay. but no longer needed. Is it right? Okay. Maximum, I am in my way, that is right. I think, uh, okay, uh, the authenticity of your answers, you can check in Google later on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, definitely I will be checked there. Yeah, okay. Later, I'll just uh, move on to the next. Uh, you tell the ASM? No, I don't go for ASM. Is the another person is that you be Okay, RAC? No, RAC, I did not have any knowledge. No knowledge, no issues. So, um, can you tell me what is the uh, uh, current team size you have? Sorry, current? Current team size. Team size. Yeah. Yeah, we have the two, 12 members. 
Right. Okay. And how how many databases you are managing the production databases? So we are almost all managing the three production databases. Three production. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And all the like uh, working in shift, is it? Yeah, working in shift. So how many shifts do you have? So we have the three shifts, sir, completely. Three shifts. No, three shifts. In the morning, okay. afternoon session, and uh, night session. Okay, good. Um, have you worked any uh, <clears throat> like uh, tool for ticketing tool? Do you work there or? No, I didn't work there. So I didn't touch any. You tool don't work on. I don't work. Okay. Um, and uh, what is your uh, uh, notice period uh, currently? So maximum within twenty days. Twenty days. Yeah, twenty days. And is it negotiable? Yeah, it's negotiable. So how how much can you negotiate? Let's say if it's a twenty days. Uh, so if, uh, if I submit uh, any designation there, then definitely I'll be take within 10 to 12 days. Maximum it will be take. 10 to 14 days, is it? Yeah. Okay. And uh, currently you are in Chennai only, right? No, and right now I'm in Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay, okay. So you have. Uh, why you want to move to Chennai? Like, is there any family you have no, I'm nearby? Thinking, or uh, like not a problem. I need to relocate anywhere. Is uh, not only for professional growth. I need to relo uh, want to meet in many places also. Is also my one of the dream. And uh, I want. Uh, I didn't touch in the Chennai first of all. I go for uh, Bangalore also. And Mumbai. Mm -hmm. So I want. Uh, to have you done any certification? And also, my really uh, native place is Kadapa. Is near near to the is near to Ch Chennai also. That is the one more reason. Okay, your native is nearby from yeah, there. Yeah, nearby. Okay. Um. Okay, I think uh, I am fine. Uh, further, uh, I will. Uh, Hand over to Satbush. We will have a couple of questions to you. Okay. We'll wrap it up in five minutes. Thank you so much, uh, Abdul. Yeah, thank for you. Time. Thank you. So, Abdul, uh, like if you're uh, selected, are you uh, okay working in UK shift? Sorry? If you're selected. Okay. Would you be would you be fine working in UK shift? Yeah, definitely. We are okay, uh, we are supporting uh, twenty four by seven. Not a problem. Any time I can work. Okay. And what is your uh, current salary, uh, uh, Abdul? Uh, right now I'm getting five point four package per annum. Okay. What is your expected? So nearby 7.5. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all I think. Uh, Sorry? Uh, I think we are done with our uh, questions, Abdul. Okay. Do you... Uh, okay. Uh, do you have any certifications? Have you done any certification? Certification? No, I have done any certification. Yeah. Or no, I did not have any Oracle certification. Okay. 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 Do you have Do you have any questions for us? No. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, no, it's clear. Okay. Okay then. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Hope we have uh, answered some of the you know doubts to you. Is it okay? I'm sure not here. Sorry? Hope I have cleared some of the doubts from you, right? No, not, not that much of doubts. So I need to okay. know the position. Uh, is the requirement for uh, DBA or the SM or the RAC? 
So due to I did not have knowledge on ASM and RAC. We are. It's like it's a principle you have always that uh, if you have a knowledge of uh, RSC and ASM, because uh, okay. next generation like you will get this uh, you know ASM and RSC, but still like uh, you haven't uh, uh, done like it's not a long time you have started working in three and a half years only. So gradually you can move forward yeah, and learn those definitely things. Definitely, I will be move forward. If you are willing to. That's what I'm saying. It it will come over the period of time. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. Because of it is advanced, I I am I'm also looking for advanced. But uh, so I'm uh, right now it not help. If is required or not. We have a complete uh, e-business suit environment. Have you come across uh, the Oracle applications? No, Oracle applications <coughs> not. Have you heard of it? Like e yeah, business suit? I hear about that one, but I didn't go. That. So that is uh, you know, so, uh, it's a booming technology market like uh, since long time and uh, if you have been selected uh, you will be part of that team where you will be managing uh, you will be trained on uh, you know managing the e-business suit database okay. so yeah so that is all yeah yeah okay so any questions from us no no, no. not uh, nothing anyway thank you Thank you so much uh, for joining the call, Abdul. We'll get back to you, like uh, to HR, and uh, they'll get get back yeah. to you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Thank, thank you. Abdul. you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. bye, -bye.